Hey buddies, I want to share a system with you or the outline for a system that you can use as a course creator, a creative, an entrepreneur to sell your product on autopilot so you don't have to think about it at all times. Let me first start with the three things that needs to happen if you want your audience to buy your product. These three things need to happen at the same time. First of all, they need to find you. Somehow you need to end up in front of them. Secondly, they need to trust you. You need to prove to them, not just show, but prove to them that you can solve their problem and that if they give you money, they will get more value back than the dollars they give you. And lastly, of course, you need to offer them the product. And the problem with today's world is it's very fast. This won't happen at once. You need to have a system in place to make sure it happens. Let's start from the beginning. Let's start from the, 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 the top. Your goal is to connect your audience with your product and to make all of these three things true. Most of you do the first two parts very well. You post on social media, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and that will help you reach a lot of people. So you post your tweets and new people will see that and they know that you exist. But they might not see your tweets, your posts tomorrow because of the algorithm. So what a lot of entrepreneurs, creators do, they ask people to sign up for the newsletter, the weekly newsletter. They point them to the landing page for your newsletter. And that's great. But here's the problem. This is the point where you basically just let it go. You leave it to chance. You think that you will just pitch your product in a, in a newsletter once in a while and people will magically buy it. Things happen, life happens, and you won't have the time to do that. You will forget to do it. You don't even know what to write. So what I wanna show you is the last part, the, the part that will automatically build trust and offer the product for anyone who signs up for your newsletter. And it's twofold. It consists of two flows, two automated email sequences. The first one is what I call the trust flow. This is a five to seven day email sequence. And the only goal, its only goal is to show people that you can solve the problem and that you can be trusted. Imagine, imagine a, a hamburger restaurant telling you that we got the best burger in this city. Would you believe them? Probably not because all restaurants will tell them that we are the best, or at least we are really, really good at what we do. So you won't believe them if they just tell you. But then imagine if you would actually go to that restaurant, order the hamburger, take a big bite and realize, geez, this is the best burger I've had in this city. Now they have proven to you that that they know what they're talking about that that what they say is true they've proven to you that they have the best burger in town so what this flow is going to do it's not going to tell them that you are the best that you can solve their problem it's going to solve part of the problem for them it's going to give them a win there and then so imagine this product the product you sell is a course on how to create content with AI for marketers. That's the big course. They don't know that you're gonna sell them that, pitch them that in a while, but that's the course. So in the trust flow, you pick a small problem, a piece of the big problem. And throughout the five or seven steps, the five or seven emails, you will help them solve that problem. So that small problem might be how to create 30 content ideas in one hour. 
So in these five emails, you show them the five steps. They start with no ideas. And at the end of your sequence, they have on paper 30 great ideas. Now they see that, geez, I can just take these and continue. I will have a month worth of content just from this. So now you've proven to them that you know what you're talking about. You can give them value. Here's the good part. Here's the interesting part. Throughout this entire sequence, you will not pitch the product. You will actually tell them at the beginning in the first email, hey, I know welcome sequences usually end with a product pitch. I'm not going to do that. And you're going to keep that promise. You, you will not pitch them the product. So at the end, in the very last email, when they've had this win, when they've seen what you can do, you tell them this, hey, if you got value from this, if you like this, if you want to dive deeper into this, I have created a product for you. It will help you do this and this and this. Would you mind if I tell you more about it? Click this link. So what you do now is you lower the guard. You've proven to them that you, you keep your promise. But for those, for the people who got a lot of value, you offer them an opportunity to get even more. Today, everyone knows that a welcome sequence usually ends in a pitch. And that kind of makes the entire sequence, every email, feel like, okay, here it comes. People would be a bit on their toes because they know you're going to pitch them something and this entire thing is a sales pitch. That will lower the value. That will lower their trust. So by doing this and keeping this promise, they can listen to what you say more. They can take it in. And for those, the people clicking this link, hey, I want to know more, you will send a second sequence. And this is where we actually pitch the product. We tell them about the product, the value. This can be three to five emails. You start out by talking about the main problem. You tell them what will happen when they solve that problem. You show them social proof. They show them proof that the course is worth this money. Uh, maybe reviews or testimonials, and then you offer them an opportunity to buy it. And if they haven't bought it after a few reminders, uh, five emails, you will add them to your weekly newsletter. So basically what this part does is it will pitch your product to everyone. And if they don't buy it, they will still be put on your newsletter and you can pitch it there once in a while. But doing all this will make sure that you maximize the chance of people buying your product because they would get value from it.